Welcome everybody, I'm Jhar Ellis, and today I am super excited to do a Builder Spotlight of MEV on Xbox. And this was not even possible before Firesong added this cool feature where you can go to non-primary houses. It was never possible before. So I'm on Xbox. MEV is a pillar of the Xbox housing community. Hails from ESO Property Sister Guild as well as Knights of Nocturnal Guild. And always a pleasure to go to MEV's houses. And so I have 10, 10, 10 houses. I'm going to go for, to MEV for today. Each of these I am... Um, super excited to go to, any one of them would be worth a visit. So going to 10 right now is going to be a real treat. So we'll go get some housing decoration inspiration from one of the best of the best. And you help hit L down to travel, not X. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, travel. Hoping they continue to build off of this new system. So this is absolutely incredible. This will really allow me to do more housing tours and builder spotlights, guild spotlights, thematic spotlights here on the channel going forward, especially for Xbox. And so this will allow me to do more contests and videos and should make life better overall. Big quality of life. Really, really thankful that they added this feature. Okay, so we'll just kind of go in and enjoy this. 10 houses from Mev. Oh my gosh, it's a lot, it's a lot. Thank you, Mev. So, a little bit of background on each of these, just a little blurb. As they say, it's a Bandari Merchant Timeshare Apartment and Bank. <laughs> okay. We have, oh, this is fun. So, this Blackman Villa has been really changed up. You can tell immediately there's a lot of structural furnishings. And... A really interesting way of breaking this up because normally there's kind of like a garden side on each side, but instead they've made it this angular building, which is absolutely amazing. I, I love the I love the design choice on that. And they've really changed up the courtyard and they've even added stairs and everything, so I'll just kinda of go through and see what they've done with this. Blackvine Villa, a very affordable beginner type of a home. And so they've made it into like an entire kind of older style city. I can go up here, and I don't imagine there'd be anything through there. And, oh, goes up even more, even more, even more. So we'll, we'll go relatively quickly through these just to kind of get a sense of each one. Uh, ten is quite a few houses to go to during a video. So we'll just kind of go to it one at a time. It looks like the crow knocked the statue down. That was, that was fun little details, right? Okay. And this is all on Xbox. Xbox is an especially difficult place to build without add-ons. And everything is generally just more difficult to navigate as far as uh, guild traders and uh, vendor UIs and things like that. So um, it is certainly a labor of love to make housing work on... <laughs> Hello, little crow. Uh, to make housing work on Xbox. That's always... I like the brazier embedded in the Dragon Guard. Luxury finishing there. I can't open these right. Okay, good, good, good. Another new feature with the uh, Fire Song is it does put the name of the build up in the top. I think there's a way for me to turn that off. I didn't think about that before. Nev's here in chat right now. Uh, let me know if I should keep that on or off. I'm okay with kind of stamping it to kind of let you know that it's Mev's house here. So, yeah, making really great use of, say, a solitude well here or there, or these doors, or the Leo and wainscoted walls. And you get just this really amazing look to it. Love the custom door handle there. Oh, that's not what I wanted. It's been a couple, it's been like a month since I've been on Xbox. I don't remember all the controls. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man, I'm punching the door, apparently. I'm punching the door. Punching the door. Okay, good. Yes. Doorknob. That's a fun way of using the tops of various furnishings. Leave it in. Okay, I can go in the house. Hopefully that sheaths my fists. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's the bank. Must be the bank. Very well protected. Very well protected. Yeah, I'm navigating on the Xbox. It's always also a bit of a challenges for tours as well. Oh, could you say the Rathana de Renata just has a very robust wall up above? 
Okay, I don't think I can go in then. So that'll be it. Very austere mysteries. Too, too many valuables. Too tempting for me to go and grab. Yes. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good way of having a vault. A vault is a vault, instead of like anybody can go waltz into it. Yes, okay, good, good, good. Okay, thank you, Mav. Great way to start. And we'll then ne go to the next one. And I can just go right to the next one. Gornar next. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Going to non-primary houses on Xbox. Yeah, before it was always such a challenge because it was their, um, the Xbox housing community is very vibrant. And so they have like a lot of contests. And then you also have like people have their primary crafting places that they'd like people to visit too. But, you know, going back and forth between different contests and everything, it's always kind of like a, like, am I going to their primary house? Is it the right house? Like, especially doing tours like this, this really opens this up. So we don't have to worry about that at all. This is fantastic. Okay, next up, Gorner Estate. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Uh, they have a treehouse. It's a retired sommelier's quiet retreat where they can write their memoirs, have family and friends over for board game nights. Oh, great, great, great. A sommelier is a... cheese person? What's a sommelier? Oh, no, I don't remember. It's a treehouse. Maybe, maybe, maybe... Wine, s s wine and cheese, okay. <laughs> the cheese person. Oh, man. Wine person. Wine person. Okay. Or we'll write their memoirs about all their favorite wines. Wine expert. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Let it flow. Let it flow here. What's the word for a cheese person? No. <laughs> no. Let's try to keep things... Uh... Oh, it's very pretty with with the way this is flowing. Yeah, Somerset has this really great waterfall furnishing you can get. I don't know if that's that might be part of what what it is. There are a couple of fun waterfall furnishings anymore. Ooh, custom table. I think it's using a Zen's idol. Oh, there's actually also with fire selling. Let me spotlight this a little bit too. There's new inspection mode. Where if you go into a home and you're like, what is this? I don't recognize that table. That's kind of interesting. You can go into inspection mode and see it is a Zen Idol. So it makes it really easy to uh, borrow ideas, get get inspiration. It makes it, well, or to figure out styles. It's a little controversial about whether or not you steal ideas or are just inspired to do similar things. I think people will manage themselves. <laughs> so... Anyway, okay, fun, 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 and I can go in this one. A turophile is a cheese fanatic, a cheesemonger. Maybe it doesn't need a special word for it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, quality of life improvements with the fire song update were quite substantial. Inspection mode, uh, the, the stamp with the, the house name, the ability to link things in the message of the day, and I'm hoping they continue to build off of housing quality of life improvements. I think that there's quite a lot going on with that. Also looking forward to that sacred hour glass of Alkosh, which will allow people to set the time of day in their home. That will be available with the for the first time ever with a new life festival mid-December 2022, so. Still a lot of other quality of life stuff they could work on, so I'm wondering what all they might have in store. Oh, what a wonderful toilet. I had noted before that Xbox people really like custom toilets, and here's no exception. Oh, I like the double roll there, double roll. With the Argonian holder. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. You get creative with how you have your toilet paper holder. Just a little dreads cut, but it's so perfect for toilet paper. And custom toilet with the bowl. Custom sink with the spigot there. Fun little soap holder, too. Fan 
Fantastic, fantastic. I'll keep going along. <laughs> Definitely been inspired, yes, yes. And then, wait, that's where I came from? Okay. Treehouse for a sommelier. They're also known as winos, yes? Why not? That's my... No offense joke. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I've used that one before. I take it back. I should be more creative than that. Take it. Oh, I love the custom cabinets. Using these shelves that we would normally put on the wall, but then twisting them to other side. Oh, that's absolutely incredible. I love that. I love that. I love that. And stacking them up. There's a wine cellar. Yeah, Mev is fantastic as at making these cobbles, using furnishings in these creative ways that are kind of outside maybe their obvious purpose, or how you would see them in, in within Tamriel, um, as going around different zones. And then also the ability within the housing editor to overlap things and angle things together and twist things around and then come up with these custom uh, cobbled together textures. It's just a real test of artistry and creativity. I really think that ESO and the 3D... I, I, I say this a lot. It's kind of like this advanced 3D modeling, customized, personalized system I think it really is at the forefront of artistry, kind of writ large right now, with where you can do anything, you can do it in real time, you can make this so immersive, and you get these, you know, like, museum quality, beyond the museum experience, artist, um, artistry experiences that are just so kind of mind-boggling. I, I really think it's pushing boundaries, and this is why... I've really dedicated so much of my effort into promoting ESO housing because I think there's really something there and they keep adding more of these quality of life improvements that are really adding tools, adding to the dimensions that you can be doing within ESO housing to really keep up with the creativity here, exploring all these different cultural and stylistic elements and just doing basically whatever you can imagine anymore. So, out and expanding the mediums. Anyway, I could just go on and on and on and on about this. I'm I'm still kind of hoping that more people um, discover ESO housing in this way, where it can just be so 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 creative, even more fun than Sims. Oh, yeah, there, there's various levels of housing to it. Okay, so you said to check out the cellar. Um, I missed that somehow. There's a, I would assume that's down lower. Wait, did you, did you add a little thing in here? I always like to open coffers. Maybe they knew I would open it. I jump. Ooh. Maybe, maybe there's a little cheese in there. Okay, anyway. I know, I know I'm a little scrambled with my thoughts on it, but I, I'm just really enamored by this. What a great way of using a wedding lantern. Just the way that's angled in here, you get the fun little lit shelf. Gilded edging on that. I'm trying to say I'm passionate about housing, and you should be too. <laughs> get into it. Dive into it. There's so much to explore. Let's see, I don't know, uh, you said something about cellar. I mean, amazing, amazing use of all these different furnishings to make like a curved staircase. Breaking things up. Uh-oh. Well, I, I, I should go not too, too long here. Oh, what is it, this one? This was the cellar. And I hope Mev here is an inspiration. 
There we go, there we go. Fucking lots of rare wines in their life as a sommelier. They know which ones are the good ones. Okay, well thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mev. And then we'll keep moving along. Eight to go. More inspiration. Fridge for the cheese. Ah, fridge over here. <laughs> Has plumbing. Didn't want to block the windows, so I figured people would jump out. Tidy it up under the house, too. Oh, yeah. Just so, just so much thought as far as making this, like, a really, like, useful place. Like, somebody could actually, like, live here, right? Okay. Moving right along. Slate Creek next. This is so much better than what I had to do before, where I had to, like, look up people in the guild roster. Or the f worst of it, as I couldn't even go to people's non- I couldn't even go to people's primary houses unless if I shared a guild with them or they were on my friends list, which was sometimes a problem, too. So anyway, this is all so much better. Okay. Um, Sleek Creek, their first big house in ESO. Updated recently with a waterfall and guest suite from Miri. Tithis is cooking up a roast for visitors and making sure I'm fully supplied for adventures. Oh, great, great, great. Big house from Mev. Yeah, any one of these houses would take a lot of effort. So these have probably been, you know, take one house at a time. work on that. Oh, I love the crafting area here. I had a contest a ways back which was called Sexy Stations. I always like it when people take like a woodworking station and then they kind of build around it with like, you know, you have the wood or a broom or different things that you could be making with your woodworking or you have your clothing station with a big tapestry up above. It just takes this kind of utility with the crafting stations and then makes it feel more embedded and natural to the home like you actually could craft here or uh, make things. I have a changing room back here, appropriate with the closing station. Great, great, great. How do I look? How do I look? Try something on. Fits perfectly. Passionate about housing, love seeing other houses as much as I love making your own. Ooh, I like the little hood there. Using the edge of a big cauldron, I think. Or I could look. <laughs> Hi, Graven Cauldron. There we go. This is great. This is great. Yeah, there had been the um, essential housing tools had a similar feature where you could kind of point at something and then try to look at it. The way that they implemented this inspection mode is actually even better because you can just mush around with your with your camera angle and just look at everything one by one. You know how to do it. Uh, you, you can do it all in one go instead of having to do it and accidentally clicking on the wrong part. So it's fantastic. They also added in something similar to this, where if you were trying to select an item, mm. you can tab through it. This is another quality of life thing. I won't be able to do it without editor permissions and be able to kind of cycle th around things in the area. So maybe you've got something stuck in a bush or something and you wanted to um, be sure to select the thing that's near it, but not the other thing in the foreground. It makes it way easier to edit anymore. So. Um, especially with these really high-level detailed things where you're overlapping things. So, anyway, lots of fun quality of life improvements with Fire Song. Really hoping it allows for people to, you know, focus on the creative aspects of housing rather than the, you know, overcoming some of the um, difficulties of navigating the UI. Oh, I like this. I've seen some. I've seen some table tennis tops before. This is the first time I've seen it oriented anything like this. I, I really like what you've done with the paddles here using the ivory and bottom of a wood bowl. What's this? Elsewhere bowl, moon sugar. <laughs> great, great, great. It's a little bit more substantial. I can imagine actually hitting a, a ball with that. That's fun, that's fun. Fun home, fun home. Lots of creativity. Great way of crafting. Again, you could come here into what you need to do. Well, your first cobble is a forge. Back when I didn't know much about many plants. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
You have the character pad thing. Fizzaz going down for a bath. You're only great use of the sleek creek. Another thing with any of these homes is how are you using the home itself, the water features, the atmosphere, basic things like that, and then drawing those out and making such a fun home like this one. Amazing, amazing creativity. Just beauty all around. And there are so many really high-level detailed furnishings in ESO anymore that everything looks a little crisper than it did years ago. As long as you're picky about which furnishings you're using, so... I do think that some of the tech has kind of caught up with it as far as just things loading better and being able to be higher resolution, so... Love these custom rooms here in Slate Creek. Normally it's just kind of very open, but this uh, adds more to it. Oh, that was Mary's room. Okay, okay. And then I think I can go up into the home itself. Or even like pushing a statue out past the boundaries of the house into the creek area. You know, in chat says, appreciate cobbles immensely. You don't realize how difficult they can be until you try it yourself. Right, it's about, you know, there's thousands of furnishings in ESO at this point, right? And how do you get, like, just the right thing to have something that's unique or something that just fits the personality that of the character that you have or that is just looks amazingly artistic or wh whatever you're going for, right? Whatever you're going for, whatever your aims are, you know, infinite configurations. You have these thousands of furnishings. You can angle them however. You can use as many as you want, basically, within a small space. And so the possibilities are really endless. A great way of breaking up the interior of this house with the wainscoted walls. Everything looks so... So clean and inviting. Love this blue brazier here with the gold. Beautiful color mix, especially with that skeleton key in the middle. Well, oh, I like the bath being elevated up on a marble a little bit. This is just a perfect balance. You even added a little drain there. Perfect, perfect. Those little thoughts, those little details, makes us feel like a workable, livable place that would just be a fantastic place to relax. And a toilet, another custom toilet. One thing I love about Mev is that they put extra effort into not just doing the same thing in every house, <laughs> right? So, um... It's not just like, here's a toilet in this room, in this house. It's like a completely different style than the previous one. Again, great use of using the texture from the bottom of a brazier that's been flipped upside down. It, it looks great. High, high level detail. Really personalizes it. And I missed something behind the fireplace down below. Downstairs fireplace? Mm, oh, back here. Oh, another toilet! <laughs> Just say extra details with the toilets. Ma'am. I had a toilet contest a couple years back. I was I was hoping that would inspire people. Maybe it maybe it maybe it did, I don't know. Every toilet was different, though. We moved a little bit away from the good old days where you just take the Dwarven Centurion head and flip it upside down. That's good. That, that still works. That still, well, still works if you just need one furnishing toilet. But I, I really love these cobbles. 
It's a great use of that elsewhere brazier. With the with the you know the plunger or whatever though too. Okay, great, great, great. So powder room here. Oh, and it has a. a bo this would be a shower. Maybe. Okay, is is it for cats? Is it kitty litter? I was wondering, is that is that a is this for Khajiit and with a pooper scooper? I don't want to overthink this part. Let's just focus on the toilet. I like the toilet. Let's focus on where and the other people do their business. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> okay, Khajiit toilet. That's funny. That's funny. That's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, okay. Next up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep going. More to see, more to see. More is next. Ah, uh, these are way too fun. It's, it's just like little bits of creativity with like multiple times in every single room. That's one way to maybe go about doing housing. You kind of have maybe like the skeleton of the house, the architecture of the walls and everything. And then maybe just do multiple passes through thinking about how to kind of really personalize things and customize things. Where, what's lack and where can you add additional fun aspects? Everybody goes about things differently though. Okay, Mornith Keep, spooky one. This is called Make a blockbuster movie scene. Was this for a guild contest? Must have been for a guild contest. Um, blockbuster movie scene. Set up the opening and end scenes. Guess the movie! Okay, okay. I don't... It doesn't actually say the movie. We have to guess the movie, guess the movie, guess the movie. So we have a blockbuster movie. Maybe, maybe people in chat here... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Am I supposed to open this? Oh. Am I supposed to open this? I believe I know the movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a very, very opening shot, right? Is it the wrong order? I was supposed to do it. Wait, really? Open both doors? Oh, this is fine. This is fine. It's all good. I didn't see the other part. I, I, I Anyway, we're good. It's a very, very opening shot of... Star Wars, yes! Where the remnants of the... Are they rebels? Or, or what are they called? Are, are fleeing from the Empire. The long... ship versus just a tiny one here. Amazing! And then the end scene? Okay, opening scene first, okay. Okay, awesome! That's uh, um, an amazing cobble. It goes really far out there. This is all in Mornith Keep. And it's just this really forced perspective. You can see planets and uh, everything in the distance. A great way of using the big black uh, rocks here uh, to really set the spacey scene with the lasers and the crystals. Perfect all around. Perfect all around. Uh, uh, instantly recognizable opening shot from Star Wars. And again, the cobbled ship there is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and then there's also going to be an end scene. I don't know if I can close this. Okay, good, good, good. And then over this way. Am I go? This is the right way to go. Re rebel. Wait, wait, okay, going along this way, I, this is... Oh! Oh, I see what's going on. It's the port! <laughs> it's the, it's the trench run, we're doing the trench run! Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to fire the pew pew laser beam that's gonna go blow up the exhaust port, yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. So we're 
on the Death Star. Or going through the trench on the Death Star, right? Okay. And we're gonna be like, no, no, use the force. And then we're gonna fire our shot and the lasers are gonna go pew pew. And they're gonna go down and blow up the Death Star from the inside. Oh, great. How amazing. How amazing is that? I love the details with all the, the, the white uh, Death Star pieces here. And, and we have like the turrets, you know, they're firing back and everything. It's very dangerous here. All the ships around Luke getting blown up and everything. Oh, how amazing! How amazing is that? And space up above again. Yeah, the trench run here, the trench run! That's great, and I love how they use the uh, this to add even more details down below. Okay, absolutely impressive. Thank you, Mav. What what an amazing creative use of ESO housing, too, right? Just thinking about how how to even make something crazy like this. Incredibly creative. Absolutely love it. Thank you for getting that. Okay. A journey as well as a movie. Exactly, exactly. Okay, continuing along. Probably. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. I wish I could spend a little more time, like, looking at all the details, but we'll keep moving along for now. It's supposed to be a little bit of a taste. <laughs> taste of Mev. Taste of Mev on Xbox. There are a lot of great housing guilds um, on all the platforms anymore, really. If you're interested in housing, I'd recommend getting into a housing guild. There's probably room for more if you want to start one. Anyway, um, where are we at? We're at Ravenhurst. They say it's Fell Run Spa and Mineral Springs. Ooh. We're going to go relax. We're going to check in. I, I have an appointment. I booked the year. I need I need a good year-long soak here. <laughs> no. Uh, no, where are we going? Uh, where should I do a go? Either way. Ooh, I love, I love this window. Just using the tops of these Deadlands walls, they have a, a little bit of a curvature to them, and so you get this custom, custom angled look to it. That's really cool. Cool, cool, cool. And just even little creative things like that. I love, I love, I love. I can imagine installing a wall like that, like in your house or something. It'd be quite a feat, quite a feat. It'd be a very, you know, very lush... Um, not the right word. It'd be a fancy thing for fancy people. <laughs> okay. Okay, and we can go and get all beautied up. I want to be beautiful. Make me beautiful. Okay, we'll get all stylish here. Great. Ch the chairs are amazing. And it, again, it's just using smaller components to cobble together something. So each chair is about 10 furnishings with the incense holders and the little table runners and the cushions. Great use of the clockwork furnishings down below. I, the, the spinning chair at the bottom is perfect. Love the bright use of these, the backs of these mirrors have this really reflective sheen to them. Perfect for this. Even the tiling and everything is great. Imagine something like that would be, you know, more in a place like this, easy to clean up and everything. And we can go wash our hair. Oh yeah, this is great. That's an that's just a perfect use of this furnishing. I love it. I love it. It's like this alchemical furnishing here. Uh, boiler. And. They have the detachable hoses so they can like spray your hair down, right? Cool! It's perfect! It's absolutely perfect. 
Love, love the details on these. Making these more modern things out of, you know, Tamarielic furnishings, which are really supposed to be kind of mostly old-timey uh, style. Kind of mostly like a medieval style, borrowing a lot from especially European cultural aspects, but beyond that too. Plus a bit of novelty. And then we have... We can I have refreshments. We have uh, drinks. Yes, yes. In a sink. Okay, great, great, great. Towel warmer. Towel warmer. Um, did I miss a towel warmer? I may have missed a towel warmer. I think this is. I think this is a little. Ki it's a little kitchen with um, drinks. Oh no! I got to turn around. Yeah, you can go order a drink here. Yeah, espresso machine. Made a custom hairbrush. Oh, custom hairbrush. Did I miss a custom hairbrush? It's, you made details so small, I didn't even see them. Oh, right here. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I, it was so small, I didn't even look at it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just using the very, 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 very edges. Is that like a... Is that a, is that a monster's dead head? I think it is. <laughs> Grundwolf is Grundwolf's head. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Perfect. Nice brushy look with kind of the, the the red helmet there, right? That's funny. Okay. Okay, okay. Continuing along. And we can go get our hair dried. I've never used one of these. Maybe I should. Again, amazing use of the furnishings. Uh, is it just multiple little pots stacked together? Oh no, this is the bottom of a sconce. Okay, that's just one furnishing. But then this is a separate one. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I love that, I love that. I like, I can never picture, maybe it's a trope. Like, there'd be the, um,. Older, older ladies would have these with their, you know, their puffier hair, right? Have a nice cloud on top of their head. Uh, am I supposed to go outside? I'll, I'll go outside at some point. And... Toilet? Perfect, perfect. And sink. High level detail. Going even extra ornate here. I really like this button. It's it's one of the achievement furnishings. It's like this little codex thing. It's a portal key replica. From I think the Blackwood achievement furniture. Love the toilet paper holders. Great, great, great. And then upstairs is makeup and massage. Okay. Okay, more, is that another custom brush? Oh, cool, cool, cool. How did you even like come up with these things? Just like a tiny little tassel to make a, a makeup brush. Just a very, 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 very edge of a very large tapestry. Just for the little red tassel. That's amazing. Amazing. Another custom brush here. Oh. And this is actually a couple of these statue bases together. It's like the Clockwork God one. He like holds aloft an orb so you can kind of isolate the orb. <laughs> so. Oh. I love the, the small details. These small details where you're taking these like huge furnishings and then just isolating these little fun textures. These fun little details just to add these touches to make these modern things. Incredibly fun. And massage table here. Again, using some wood, wood elf furnishings. Oils and whatnot. I think I had on my to-do list to some at some point in my life I want to go get a massage. I've never got a massage.
just to see if it's worth all the all the popularity of them. This is an alien experience for me, so I, I will live vicariously through the people's spas here. <laughs> oh, can go up this way? There's even more. How did you manage to fit so many details in here? Ah, oh, massage tables uh, here too. Great. Okay, great, great, great. And then maybe something in the courtyard down below. It's not blocked off, so I'll assume. Couples massage? I see, I see. Oh, and a beautiful spring out outside. Not only so not only is it an amazing detail inside. And that ends up eating a lot of the furnishing cap too. So balancing this all out, holy. I love that. I love that. I love how there's even like the trench from the Deadlands uh, wall here down below just to capture the water. It's just lined up so well. This is little considerations. So I think there's just a bubbly fountain. So it kind of looks like the water is splashing off the rock there. And then there's steam coming up from the spring here. Sulfur pool. There's actually quite a few furnishings in game that have water anymore. Uh, between Glug, the sm Glug. small everlasting waterfall, <laughs> time to drink, um, and the sulfur pool, and a couple other fountains that they had with crown crates. They actually have a really great big water, standing water pool thing from uh, the High Isle Achievement Furnishing now, too. Redguard Fountain for splashes there. Okay, great, great. Yeah, it's great. Mev is magic with fitting in all those details. And doing the, all this within the item cap and then still having everything be like fully decorated is absolutely crazy. Gonna have a soak here. Perfect, perfect. It's just like so relaxing. Pick a pool. Is there another bathroom back here? <laughs> The toilet ratio is insane today. Okay, good. So, <laughs> so running running joke on the channel is is whether or not the Xbox toilet ratio is going to be greater than one. So so far, it's been greater than one, more than one toilet per house. We wouldn't think ev every house needs to have a toilet, but nope. <laughs> Oh, custom shower head there too. That's fun, 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 fun. What do you even use for that? So, oh, it's an upside down sconce. It's just not on. That's, that's, that's fun. That's great. That's absolutely crazy. Works great for that. Do we have a <laughs> urinal? Oh, that's funny. Okay, great, great, great. One hot shower. Okay, and then... Okay, so that was the Fells Run Spa and Mineral Springs. Can't believe this is Ravenhurst. Yeah, um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you again, Mev. Again, a real talent. And we have five to go. This is halfway through. Wait, I did that wrong. Captain Margot's home next. Okay, next up we have... Ooh, fun. Something fun. Seems like an alchemical place. 
They say custom elixirs for every occasion while you wait. Great, great, great. So we have all... I just, while I wait, I'll just wait here. Okay, make me a custom elixir. So it's, this definitely has like a, a healing vibe to it. Like we have all these magical mushrooms and flowers and crystals and we're going to mush everything together and drink up and be healthy. Is that the idea? I have little seedlings here. So much color. Love all the color here. Yeah, for my color. Color, okay. <laughs> A lot of color. And, yeah, looks like we can make some concoctions. Get something custom made to treat all my ailments. So many pretty flowers in the game anymore. I see these little blooming flowers. There must be a, a mount that's like flipped upside down and been thrown into there. It's funny. I love the custom fountain. Just using the statue to get the, the custom... Oh, what, what do you call the, the, the name of the thing that spits water out? <laughs> the the water spitter, the water spitter, yes. Uh, anyway, custom water spitter. It's like using this huge statue, big Elter statue, and just using the, a little bit of it, right? Again, really creative. Ooh, we have all sorts of incense and smell wells. Yeah, a lot of these furnishings on the counter here are just tops of furnishings too. Not the entire furnishings, just the top of it. That way you can kind of isolate some of these more interesting textures. You think that Rathana de Renaud just for a countertop was great too. Oh, there's Marcy. Very high level detail. Oh, and... Really? Did you... Okay, Mev, how many of these did you make after I started doing these tours? Because I saw... Has it always been that you've always had a million toilets? <laughs> or, or did you start to be extra aware of it? Because <laughs> I was drawing so much attention to it. Oh, oh, I. Oh, it's funny. It's funny. I wasn't wrong. I think I wasn't wrong about Xbox. Have you just been inspiring everybody? Because you're just such like a, a kind of key person on Xbox. Your toilet queen. Okay, okay, that's funny. The toilet building queen. And you probably inspire other people to make toilets in, in their houses too. I think it's actually a really great way to get into housing because there's no toilets in Tamriel, basically. Um, and so anything that you want to do to have a more modern home, and a more modern home is almost always going to have a toilet, um, then you have to get creative with how you make it, right? So um, that might be people's first foray into making a cobbled furnishing of some sort, right? So I think... It's, it's a good thing to kind of spotlight. It's not just like, ah, oh, ha, ha, funny toilet. Um, it's more like, um, no, this is actually, you know, part of houses, and it's t taking something that's from Tamriel and older timey to make it more modern and more personalized and more usable um, as a home that you would want to actually live in, um, or that your character might want to live in. And how do you get creative with the furnishings to make that work, right? So, um, great. Basically, why? No toilets anywhere. So, you have to get creative. Same with, um... You know, sinks and kitchens and stovetops and things like that, too. Uh, generally, if you want any of that, you have to get creative with it. Tubs and beds you can get creative with, too, but, um... 
they can just kind of work as is, so we don't necessarily have to cobble them together. But, I always like things that are customized. Toilet was your very first theme build after seeing the toilet contest vid. Fun cobble to try out. Oh, oh great. Oh. Hey, actually helped. <laughs> Chitara, thank you, thank you. Great, great, great. Okay. Yeah, I, I do a lot of contests as well. I've done nearly 140 contests at this point. Uh, and I always like to kind of spotlight different things that I think could be used like creative nudges. It's like, want to see more creative toilets going forward? Let's do a toilet contest. <laughs> anyway. But no, it's come a long way since then. Planning on doing some happy December contests. Anyway, uh, let's keep going along. Thank you, thank you again. Amaya next? Yes. Love being able to port to these non primary houses. A couple maybe hinted at bathrooms. Just a bowl. Toilets are very important. <laughs> What's your design process? Is it true that you come up with an idea for a toilet then customize the house to match? That that seems about right. Whoa! What? This is just a stunning, stunning architecture. Oh. I came out at a good time of day for it. That'll be even more enhanced post New Life Festival. Um, a Mylic Lodge, custom home built on a solitude platform. Oh, so the, the, the deal here is there's a solitude platform. It's a big, pretty big tile. You can flip it over, it has wood on the other side. And I think it was must maybe for a contest where the idea was just to build a house on the platform. So, you know, limited size, right? Limited size house. So, limited size uh, as a constraint, working within the constraint can also bring out creativity. That's not a big part of why I do the contest I do too, because I, I like to have constraints in a way that is not just, you know, go do whatever. It's like, do whatever within some limits. Uh, that way you're kind of, you have to kind of start thinking creatively about that, right? Um, so, was this for Aesop's or Night of no Nights of Nocturnal or something else? Anyway, I love the I love the style on that. The big the big open windows up above, or the the curvature going on with these display cases. I love I love how that just intertwines there. For ESO Property Sisters. Okay, great, great, great. Can I go down there. What? How, this is a mile like large. So this is really just using. A little bit of this place, but you know they they have a couple of vines and everything to make it a little bit more, or they block the the door off so I don't go explore. Even that, even that, even those extra little elements, like adding a couple of touches to the courtyard, even though they didn't have to. So getting a good sense of the rest of the building. Uh, am I supposed to go in here? I'll go, I'll, I'll poke, poke in there at the end. Oh, I just also wanted to thank Mev. I, I didn't do this at the beginning. Uh, so much for helping me to even be able to stream on Xbox. They, they were really instrumental in that. And I appreciate them, and I appreciate the, their guild members, and every, everybody else on Xbox that's just helped me so much along the way. Oh, let's go in. Oh, man. Oh, it's so bright in here. I just love that. And it's so open. I love the tall ceilings in here, too. Yeah, custom stove and everything. And Buff. Buff, buff Nukem. Yes. B buff Nukem was another one of those. Big, big heavyweights. It just helped me so much. Oh, custom buttons. I love the custom buttons.
I really like the use of the statuettes, just using those upside down and then adding something so it has a little handle on it. The backsplash, yes. Yeah, using a Vivek furnishing there. I think. I love the, the flower here. I mean, it just looks so much like it belongs, but it's really like three different furnishings all put together. Three or four furnishings all put together. Perfectly bright for this home. Couch that actually looks very cozy. Hard to make that work. Roaring fire. So much light spilling into here. It's a great use of using these these beams. These are from the Clockwork City, Brass Fortress, Home Goods Vendor. They're they're a great thing to work with. I think we have a laptop. Downstairs washroom. Okay, thank you, thank you. Of course there's a washroom. <laughs> We have a bath. It looks like we could pull water from here. Oh, that's pretty. That's fun. Radiating pillows. Making it custom. And I missed a toilet. Of course I missed a toilet. Okay. Downstairs? Oh, down here. Oh, great. Oh, great. Well, it's more on a rod. I like that. I like that. I really like the red guard lights in there. And then I'll go to the shed over here. So all that just built on, you know, a, a relatively small square. Adding so much detail on it. Oh, there is more over here. Changing the wall textures. That's always a fun thing to do. Like, if you're in a home, then you can take additional structural wall furnishings or other flat furnishings and just you really just change the entirety of the look of the interior that way and then fill it in how you like. That way things just flow so much better. Custom lamp with a wicker on top. color palette in here is really nice. I love I love how like there's this shield over here and the glass bottles and then the windows and everything that's just kind of leaking through. It's like little bits of the, the, the reflective color scheme that just flows throughout this place and makes everything so cohesive. If that if I worded that well at all. <laughs> It's 
just so many great ways of doing this. And it's like you, you've had multiple custom stoves and toilets and everyone is, you know, personalized to the, the style of the home. There's just not like one right way to do something, right? I really love this oven door that you have going on. Use of light reflections bounces eye around the place happily. Yeah, exactly, exactly. A pool from the high ultimate vendor. Yeah, it's it's there. It's the main storyline in Galen. I think it's a Galen, not High Isle Ultimate Furniture. That, that's what I meant. I'm sorry about that. Very, very much a part of the story with Fire Song. <laughs> These kitchens look 1,000% better than your real kitchen. Yeah, that's that's a great thing about housing in ESO2 is it is this, you know, fantasy level of housing that you can get into. Some of these might be things that you're, you know, your wildest dreams or beyond your wildest dreams or would you even really, you know, these are just pretty nice places. Uh, but sometimes it's like, would you even want something so exquisite? Could you, could you pay for maintenance and... <laughs> cleaning everything and mm. all that. Um, so no, you can really, you can really just go completely fantastical with your houses, over the top, you know, beyond practical, um, and enjoy it that way, and and have whatever you like. And we have washer dryer. I love how you use the little plates there, to, like so you could like open things up, right? So you wish we could animate a sliding door? Oh, this is this is supposed to be a sliding door. Oh, I see. So you could slide open the uh, door to the laundry room. That makes sense to me. That's that's an amazing detail. It's just in the very very edge of like a painting to get that silver look. It's actually multiple furnishings. It's interesting that you don't see, like, just random, like, hanging rods or anything. I love that. I love that. And toilet. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Again, it's, it's different from the previous ones. Basket for your toilet paper. Oh, these are so fun. Oh, man. Myth making me feel very insecure about my building skills. <laughs> That's good. No, I, I, I've actually heard people say that before, where they'll be intimidated by other people's amazing creations, and don't let that be the case. We uh, take, you know, take some notes about like, you know, what are they doing here? They're adding custom features, or changing wall textures, or you know, just basic things like that. What, what sorts of furnishings do you think will work for you, right? And start somewhere and just have fun with it and don't stress about it, right? No reason to. And maybe dip your toes into participating in housing contests or whatever like that too. Be inspired, be inspired. Okay, thank you, Mev. Continuing along. I, I saw a knife block. Knife block here. I can knife block. Proud of knife block. All done by hand. Frostfall. Frostfall. Three homes to go. Just started to get into housing contests with the guild. Kitchen is crying. Oh no! <laughs> or here's another fun thing you can do with this. I've brought this up on the stream before, but 
you can take some of these housing design features that you see in ESO housing and maybe you actually think about how you can spruce up your real house, right? Maybe, maybe you don't have enough texture up on your wall. Maybe you don't have enough color up on your wall. Maybe you need something I, to, to break, break things up, right? Maybe, maybe you make some creative wall art or, or whatever it happens to be. I'm more focus on walls. I feel like people don't do a lot with their walls. Um, or loving the house links on console. Yes, yes, that's the I main. I've been drawing a lot of attention to that. <laughs> Being able to port to people's non-primary houses through either the message of the day um, and guild information or through direct mails um, is fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, planning on doing some guild spotlights with that going forward as well, where I can take like a, a guild and just go to a bunch of homes and have a spotlight that way. Uh, for now, just having a single singular builder focus is a fun new thing to do too. Okay, Frost Vault Cousin, they say, Sidric Mages discovered a rare phenomena and set up an observatory. Build was your first creature's cobble and made a little submersible. Oh, good, good, good. Or as far as um, being inspired for different things for your home, maybe different ways of doing your landscaping or, or gardens and um, things like that. You know, thinking about what you actually want in your home. Trying to get a texture off your walls. Oh, no. Okay, good. Uh, this is Frost Vault Chasm. So a great uh, place for making an aquarium scene here. We'll go. We'll go check it out. Looks like we could go out into the water if we wanted to. Pressure tanks. Oh, that's really fun. So it's taking Frostfault Chasm, which is a big open cave. Oh, I see a huge turtle. Oh my gosh. And instead, making it into... It kind of has a blue hue to it, because it's all icy, right? So it's perfect as a backdrop for instead transforming it into a big underwater scene. And look look at the big giant sea turtle there. I like I like the, you know, the, the soft curves on that. They're just kind of... Instantly make it recognizable as a giant sea turtle. That's really fun. We have a diver out there as well. A little, little, little person out there. So tiny compared to the sea turtle. Right over oh, no, A big whale! Oh my gosh! Big whale in the background too. I didn't even see that. Again, human, human for scale. That was really awesome. That's really super impressive. Again, doing this on Xbox. All up in the air, where it's hard to hard to m maneuver anything, twisting things around, and figuring out exactly how to make this work well. Then we have the sea vents and sea floor down below. This is really something. This is really something. The divers are great. Screenshots of this, you love it. Oh, great, great, great. Yep, yeah, repressurization chamber with the bends. You have to worry about the nitrogen in your blood, right? Oh, one thing I haven't done. I'll have to come back through. I'll have to... Oh! I see it lurking way down below some sort of a sea serpent. Uh, or a uh, sea dragon. I'll have to get a screenshot for the thumbnail at some point. I'll have to come back. One more, one more dive right away. I saw, I saw the one up above. Is there a third one? I fell into it. Oh no! Glug glug. Okay. I didn't mean to fall in. I, I think this is maybe spoiling it. Uh, I'll just be here. <laughs> just the two divers. Okay. Yeah, I, I pointed out the two divers. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, this is immersive. I'm the third diver. Go look at the submersible. Wait, submer is that here? In here? Wait, is it? Am I supposed to be in here then? Hold your breath. Hold your breath. 
Or is the submersible back? To the right? To the other way. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, fun. Behind the kelp. Behind the vines here. Oh, that's fun, that's fun. Oh, that's cute. Using a couple of those Merkmire kilns. Perfect shape for it. Oh, that's fun. Happy little tiny submarine. Don't fall. Oh, yeah, no fall. I'll go back. I think I can do this and then go back to the entrance. This way. Okay. A little bit of a different um, button path for that. With the inspection mode anymore. Oh, we have oxygen tanks. Just us. Just so many, so many considerations on this. I like the starfish right here. It's like the glass is right there, right? Okay, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing. And we'll move on to the next one. Two to go. We'll save the Christmas one for later. Crandom, thank you, thank you. Yellow, yeah. Going with shape on that. Okay, next up, Stillwater's Retreat. They say the Sigic Mages wanted a cafeteria. To help fund it, the board of directors established the Skyrim Oceanic Museum. Free sweet rolls for employees and members. Ooh. Artifacts and set submersible display from the Reef Observatory are above the end. Oh, there's going to be a lot of cobbled creatures in here. Okay, so this is a, a similar theme to the previous one. Uh, mythic, mythic creature there. A little bit of a precursor of what's to come here. Okay, so... Sigic Underwater Museum? Oh, yeah, so it's like we're under... Under the water here. I've never been to an aquarium like this. That would be a really fun thing to do. Go to an aquarium and just be like... Have everything swimming up above you. I'd want to go. There's some aquariums in North Carolina I could go to. I think are like that. Big fish. It reminds me of that like ancient fish, like the uh, sea lacanth, koi lacanth, with all the extra fins. Which has a good tunnel like that. I don't know if the North Carolina one has that. We have like a ray down below. Oh, this is really fun. We have all sorts of these cobbled critters, right? Cobbled creatures. The bigger fish up above. <laughs> I love these, I love these. A lot of personality in the fish. Rockfish. Don't want to miss any. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Griffin up. Oh, I have a couple couple of things I can redeem. It's like this the squid has captured a fish there. That's perfect. Perfect use of the emerging stink corn from the chain. Has an eye though with a dragon fruit. I love that. Griffin might not last very long here. Oof. Anything else up above? Fish, fish can go in between places there. We're on the other side. Oh, it's like a big, big ray. Wrong oh, I'm going.
It was really fun. I was really enjoying it all. And we have like, um, like a Kamori eel there. Or maybe a couple. <laughs> or some, something really big. Okay, I don't think that was 13 yet. Unless if I missed some. Is there more out? Oh, 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 there's something hiding. Oh, right there. <laughs> oh, looking for a hermit crab. Oh, that's cute. Okay, thank you, thank you. A vampire fish. Okay, continuing with the Cidric Mages Skyrim Oceanic Museum. Whoa, that wasn't all. I, I want to go look there, but let me check out the sides first. Do I have a gift shop? Let's say free sweet rolls. That's how they get ya. Yeah, it seems like it's worth supporting. So we'll have some memorabilia here, fun things. Grab a drink. Get a sweet roll. I'll save the best for last. Well, I don't know if it's the best, but. The, the biggest thing for last. Oh, we have happy little fish here. Happy little radish and apple fish. That's cute. So this would be like a, a little fountain itself. Oh, look, bathrooms. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, we can dry our hands. I think, I think. Let me see bacon, maybe. No. Keeping our toilet ratio high here. Perfect, perfect. Or more. Do we have a through toilet? We have Khajiit. Khajiit can visit as well. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Keeping our ratio very, very high. Very, very high. Okay. Got six toilets in this build. <laughs> Okay, and whale, oh my gosh. It's breaching. How amazing is that? That's really great. This is really stunning. Okay, mind blown. And I believe that will do it for this one. A good screenshot place, yes. Run around, I can run around it. I can get down there. Okay. It's not just the one angle, it's a whole three-dimensional thing. Oh yeah, you can see the eye and everything. It's like it's dancing. Oh yeah, it has little water splatters there too, I can see. It's like it's spinning and dancing while I spin around it. That's lovely. That's how it's even better. Yes! It has a, a good coloration on it too. Fantastic. Spin with me, spin with me. Thank you again, Mev. Thank you again. And... Last up. Then we'll wrap up. 
Okay, great. I think a windmill is just used for the interior. Just to have the rounded walls inside. I think that was the idea. Okay, last up, Moon Sugar Meadow. Oh, we might just get right into a big thing here. Yeah, I see a big thing in the background. Not gonna spoil it, but can you see something in there in the back? Okay, looks like we can go in. Oh, is this for me? Is uh, Maybe I'll do this after the stream. <laughs> We're supposed to open all those. We have bones. I'm gonna get to a good vantage point here. Maybe I go up here. It spoiled it a little bit, that's okay. Okay, we have Big Godzilla build. This is awesome. They say Kaiju fight. A peaceful campground and mini museum has been turned into a fighting pit when a bone colossus summoned two creatures who were duking it out in another dimension. Place your bets. They say they wanted to do a Jurassic Park build, but the T-Rex had started cobbling was too big. <laughs> so you make Godzilla instead. Okay, so it's gonna be it's not just two, it's a fight. It's not just Godzilla, it is also Rodan, oh my gosh. Amazingly expressive. Wait, 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 wait. I like the action scene here. Oh, if I can. Because it's like kicking up dirt, like it's just taking the hit and it's sliding backwards a little bit, right? Amazing, amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Rodan versus Godzilla. Who will win? Who will win? Who will win? Looks like they've already kind of torn up the blaze. Oh, this is fun. Let me go to different angles here, too. Maybe appropriate to end with all these coffers. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up the stream and then <laughs> did I do that. Anyway. Mev, let me know if you want the Chester coffer opening in the VOD or not. Oh no, I'm gonna get myself radioactive lasered if I'm down here. Oh no. I'm gonna get trampled. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It's so big it doesn't even fit in this shot. Okay, so we have Godzilla, and we have Rodan. You can go running around, go running around. Say Godzilla from all angles. It's a big place. Minjigar Meadow is a pretty large space here. Oh yeah, this is a good angle for the fight. Okay, absolutely amazing. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> no, that's fine. Ah, Godzilla teeth. Okay, well, I think I will. I'm gonna poke into a couple of these coffers. I don't know. It seems like a appropriate. I love these coffers. How long did it take to sculpt these? That's a good question. Probably a lot of time. Gift shop? Gift shop here? Ooh. 
Is that like a puzzle? It might be a puzzle. Oh no, I can't help myself. Why am I doing this? Anyway, um, I will open the rest of these after. Um, for now, let me wrap up. And then we will... I'll, I'll continue to stream here for a bit here on the live stream. Um, but I'll wrap up for the VOD. I think that this did go very well. I'll put this up on YouTube and uh, preserve it that way again. Mev, thank you so much for the invite. And there'll be more to visit later. Maybe in the couple next couple weeks I'll be able to get to the rest of your homes. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So 10 homes. Memory Magic Game. Close of, oh, I'll get that back to it. Um, I said I would. Come on. Anyway, um, thank you, Mev. Xbox, with the new quality of life changes with Fire Song, being able to travel to non-primary houses has really opened up a lot here. Being able to visit 10 ho homes from the same builder, all in the same go, absolutely amazing. Roy loved that. And, you know, makes me optimistic about the future of housing here in ESO. And we saw so, so many creative things that Mev did here. Get some inspiration from that, you know, get get creative with how you make sculpture or make cobbled furnishings or make things more modern, make things livable, make things beautiful, make things how you would like them for yourself or maybe for a character that you have or however you want to do it. Lots to glean from this. And I think this is just such an amazing spotlight. Thank you again, Mev, for everything that you've done for the Xbox housing community and the housing community at large. And thank you so much for everything you've done for me personally. And that is absolutely amazing. So tons you can do with housing. Take take a take a go at it. I think that you can have a lot of fun with it. So, and that'll be it. I'll keep this up on my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to me there, it's free to do so. If you could do that, please go ahead and subscribe on my YouTube channel. That'd be fun. And I'll continue to put more housing contests going forward. It's actually uh, the new changes will allow me to do builder spotlights, guild spotlights, thematic spotlights much more readily, especially for Xbox Year Two as well. So stay spicy and keep a moon in your heart. Ooh.